Hi, I'm Alexandra, and welcome to our weekly world climate change news. Today's headlines are the following. Severe drought in Turkey. Japan hit by heavy snowfall. President Biden plans to tackle climate crisis. Abandoned oil and gas have more impact than projected. Sahara Desert blanketed by snow. Lake heat waves will increase. Climate change is affecting children's malnutrition. So let's get started. Severe drought in Turkey Turkey has been reeling under severe drought caused by climate change since the beginning of the year, which has put agriculture in the country under threat. The drought follows successive seasons of little or no rainfall. Istanbul, the most populous city in the country, could run out of water within months. Some of Istanbul's current water reserves are the lowest they have been within 15 years. Drought can cause root zone moisture to vanish. Consequently, grain harvests would be under threat. Japan hit by heavy snowfall An unusually heavy snowfall in Japan caused a huge chaos where a total of 134 cars involved in crashes within a highway. The disaster agency has announced that some 200 people have been affected by these crashes, with 12 being hospitalized. One person has been announced dead by the disaster management agency. Unusual weather events are considered to be one of the major consequences of climate change. President Biden plans to tackle climate crisis. The U.S. rejoined the 2015 Paris Agreement and Joe Biden's plan to tackle climate crisis is the most ambitious of any U.S. candidate ever, investing $2 trillion in clean energy and decarbonization. The transition will create new jobs and advance social justice. Some progressives urged the president to go even further and aim for net zero by 2030. Biden, who has a track record of emphasizing the climate crisis internationally, plans to update America's infrastructure, make buildings more energy efficient, and transform agriculture. Abandoned oil and gas have more impact than projected. The US and Canada's governments are obliged to estimate the amount of methane leaked from the abandoned oil and gas wells and submit these numbers to the UN. According to a latest study of the McGill University, these estimations are far less than the actual numbers. The study found out there are 150% more emissions in Canada compared to the government's estimates, whereas this difference for the US is 20%. Abandoned oil and gas walls are regarded as significant contributors to the climate change. Sahara's Desert Blanketed by Snow While other places get warmer, the temperature in the Sahara Desert fell to minus 3 degrees Celsius. In the last 42 years, this is the fourth time the 3,600,000 square miles are blanketed by snow, which is a very unusual event. The first occurrence of snow in the Sahara was in 1979. Referring to the New York Post report, it shows that there is a correlation between the Sahara's rainfall and climate change. Moreover, researchers find that the climate change has brought a significant impact to the Sahara's expansion. Lake heat waves will increase. A new study shows that climate change could cause a rise in the frequency and intensity of lake heat waves across the world. Unusually high temperatures in the lakes due to heat waves damage the freshwater ecosystems and is linked to mass fish death. If greenhouse gas emissions increase in the future, lake temperatures could globally rise by 1.7 degrees Celsius, with researchers warning it will become increasingly worse if this is still not controlled and not limited by the end of the century. Climate change is affecting malnutrition in children. A study made in 19 countries from the regions of Asia, Africa and South America found that climate change is an equal or even a greater contributor to child malnutrition than poverty, inadequate sanitation and poor education. It concluded that higher long-term temperatures will lead to decrease in diet diversity, thus reducing fundamental micronutrients for child development, according to the United Nations metrics. Such environmental degradation can undermine global health gains over the last 50 years and could seriously affect international development programs. This was Alexandra for Weekly World Climate Change News. Thank you for watching and see you here next week.